What do we have here? Must be Imperial. Coming in for a dramatic entrance. There you go, well rehearsed. I've just done that about 20 times. It's fucking sad. This is the last grindy video. Um, we just got to sort the neck out, fret it and all that guff. Um, get the body ready and burn it up. And then on video four, we'll finish it all off, all right? We've got to get this one done because even I'm getting fucking bored of it now. So crack your way through this, 20 minutes, lovely people clicking off immediately. If you're new, go and watch episodes one and two, because we need to get the hours up. We need to monetize the channel and earn a penny. That's the goal. So thanks for watching this one. We've got time to do a bit of burning. And then on the last video, we'll have it all oiled up. We'll get it all built and we'll play it. And I might, yeah, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. All right. Exciting things in the future. But until then, let's just get this little experiment done. Build the numbers. Come back, tell your friends, there's an asshole on YouTube, he's new, and he's a bit of a prick. Cheers. So, in here, I've got all my headstock pieces, and in here is a PRS one, which I should have marked before I chopped it all out, but I didn't. So in fact, could do it from behind, couldn't we? We'll do it from behind. That's what she said. <laughs> and all I'm gonna do is go through with me eight mil, just mark the positions of them in the super soft garbage. So now we can go and drill these out. I'm just gonna boss some holes through on here. Got a bit of MDF to lean on. Okay, so here we are on our neck jig. This is just gonna hold everything nice and flat so I don't get any deflection as I'm working on it. That's very serious, isn't it? I'm just gonna sort out these nut slots. Lovely. I say lovely, it's not really lovely, but it'll do. Theme of the day, it'll do. So we're now just going to touch it up. There you go, we are slotted. We are done with that. And actually, that's very nice. Fretboard is amazingly straight, which is all I care about. So basically at this point, I want my fretboard to be dead flat with no tension on the truss rod. When that's completely relaxed, we're dead flat. So here's my fret wire bender. Wire goes in there, bending goes on, wire comes back out. Cracking, eh? So let's do it head on so you can have a proper show. The idea is bend the wire to a greater radius than the fretboard. So it's much easier to fit in the board. That's better. So that's what we should end up with. Some radius wire that we can actually use. Would you use that? Would you use that hunk of shit? Let's use it. Let's go with it. Who cares? I always feel really awkward when I'm doing this job. I had these tiny hands. I'll tell you what, we'll bung some inlays in before we do this. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Just while it's easy. My eye! Let me know if you're enjoying the Janner accent or whether it makes you feel sick to the bone. I don't even know how many frets we've got on this fretboard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-two frets. Posh. 
while I'm here, let's mark out. We might as well just do all our inlays at this end, didn't we, really? Let's change the angle so when you're watching it, you don't fall asleep. We'll turn over. Right, so here we go. Simple as this. You've all played guitar, so you know. 1, 2, 3, 19, 21. Alright? So now we've done that, we will simply get our centre line with our lovely little crimson centre line finder. And we know it's always 21 because most necks are 42, 43 at one end. And then we'll find the centre of these. And we'll go with some Timu crap. Okay, so we've got some Timu crap. There you go, all right? This is like three quid, no postage, four years for it to arrive, and you get 9,000 of them. And they're all different sizes, and I don't know what they're made of. But they're white, and they should look all right on that, actually. Not very thick, these, unlike my kids. Damn! Right. One. <laughs> Bit of glue. Knock it in. There you go, bit of a spray. And I call this one Peter. <laughs> Lovely, inlay's done. Real time. Side inlays we'll do later. Don't have to do them straight away. Get some frets in. Lovely. So now I'm just going to mark the tops of all my frets. I like to use red. You can see it better in LED lighting. Again, if this was a posh guitar, I would have the fretboard all masked off so I don't get any pen on it. So I found this fret wire really inconsistent, which is why I don't use it. Oh, there you go, look, pen on the fretboard. That's what we didn't want. All for the purpose of demonstration. So out comes the Stumac Z file, which is just amazing. Love it. And then we're just gonna re-crown these. So we get a nice thin line on the top. Right, out comes a bit of 400 grit. We're just going to get the scratches off the, from the file now. Try and leave a bit of pen. I'm really, I'm putting all my pressure on the side of the frets rather than on the top. This is file, this is 800 grit sandpaper, I think. So the, the tops are fairly good. A 
cheeky bit of 2000. And these will get polished up. So that is about a quarter of the time I would normally spend fretting a neck. So the rest of this is going in the bin because it is utter shit. Never using that again. Minger. So we've had a change of plan. I bailed on the initial laser engrave because it took forever. I had it on too strong and it was basically killing everything. So I've had to skim the top of this body and then we've gone for a smaller Kraken octopus. By the time we burn all this in, I might do a few more bits on here anyway, but look at that look, rough as rats. What do you say where you live when you're touching a rough bit of wood? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend, we, we did have this big strong ridge. We had a big strong ridge on the front like we did on the back, but that's largely gone now. So I'm gonna have to blend that in and make it look intentional. So there you go, we're making it up as we go along. We've got a neck, we've got some frets, rubbish fret wire, but we've used it. The last of the jumbo, hate it. Do you want a close up? Not sure what this uh, fret wire's gonna look like in the end, but might be all right, might not. Bit of love needed on that, bit of love. We'll do a laser engrave on the headstock, but for now, I want to router out some cavities. So I'm gonna bring you in a bit closer. You can have a look at the guitar and my midriff. And we'll go from there, all right? Wait. Look at that, look at that. Look at me table. One, two. There you go, center line. That's easy. Now we've got our neck and we've got to decide where we want to house that neck in the body. And in all honesty, it don't really matter that much. Let's make it as exact as we can and say, right, it's gonna go there. We'll put our cheeky center finding ruler on there. And then we'll use a bit of wood there. And a level on there. And some. 32, 32, that was a good guess, wasn't it? Good guess. So now we know where that's going in the body. Lovely jubbly. Scientific as fuck. I know that from the inside edge of my nut to the 12th fret is normally 323 mil on a Fender guitar. So if we measure from that same fret, we come back 325 mil. It should be the same, but because of intonation, it's always a little bit more. If I'm losing you at any point, it's tough shit, really. Now, generally speaking, I want to stay about 10 mil from the bridge to the start of me humbucker. Root, route, channel, hole. So just approximately mark that out. One, two. Um, I'm going to direct mount these humbuckers because I've already done that on the ones that I'm using. They've got no thread left in them. So they've got to be screwed into the body. So there you go, that's our humbucker right? That's gonna be our neck channel. Our neck channel for a fender, if you're within limits for the thickness of your fretboard, just wants to be almost the depth of your neck. So it's our, my neck is 21 mil, so I'm gonna route it down 20 mil, maybe 19 mil. And then we'll stay within the scope of our bridge adjustment. Lovely. I'm a firm believer that the comment section should be used to spread love and only love and support. So let's do that on this channel. If you prefer Imperial to metric, or like me, don't understand Imperial, because I was born 10 years after we got rid of it, it doesn't matter, nothing matters. We're just cutting wood. Okay, so I'm gonna pop over to the pillar drill where the top of my head will be, and we'll just chop a bit of this out. All right, back in a moat. <laughs> I 
what's the fucking next step? You tell me. The next step is to use the same template we used earlier on, just to keep things simple, because we like it simple. And we're going to rotor out and tidy up the humbucker cavities. That's it. Stay with me, folks. Lightning. Take the eyes and ears off. We won't zoom in on them, it's half my ears on that. Ugh. Lovely. We've got some humbucker cavities. Really, it's not that technical. We know where our bridge is going. Also, not very technical. So now, the next two steps are to create a cavity for our controls. So that's gonna go about there. That's nice and simple. We can line everything up with the timber on our body. Perfect. Obviously I'm doing this from the back, not the front. This is just while I work things out at the minute. I know that that's where my cavity is going to be. Cracking. So now I want my controls in here. Three controls. We're just going to go for a toggle switch. Should we go? Should we follow the curve of the body? Let's do that, shall we? Okay, so all I'm doing now... Go right through. One, two, three. Now I know where they are. This is the bit we've all been waiting for, isn't it? How sexy can we make the guitar look with a blowtorch? So let's clear some things away that are important. Gotta keep the street clean. Gotta keep the street clean. Proper. So let's... Um, it's at this point that I've just realised I haven't included how I fixed the neck on or cut the hole out. So for now you're just going to have to dry your eyes. I'll show you in a future video. And uh, feel free to moan in the comments section like my father-in-law does when there's little inconsistencies in me video editing. Thank you. Lovely. I do it. Right, let's give you a close up of that. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get some oil on that now while it's hot. It's the best time. And uh, we'll go from there and we'll call it a day for this video, I think, after that. Bit of true oil. The guitar maker's best friend. Crappy bit of rag. Let's just get it on. Seal it all in. You can see all the blacks coming off in the cloth, which is nice because it's just going to merge it all in. That's what we want. I don't know what we want. We're just making it up, aren't we? There, so we can see we're finally starting to take shape. 
Everything's staying all right. Glue's all holding on the body, which is nice. Nothing's falling apart. Up on the wall, it actually looks quite smart. Look at that. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so back in the room. That's the end. That's it for video three. That's all you're going to get from me. Um, I've got to have a massive tidy up. I've got to get home for a meeting because my youngest son is feral. And I've got to go and see his teachers and explain that they have to give him another chance, even though he's had 5,000. All right, wish me luck with that. I'll see you on the next video. Um, until then, have a crack yourself. Go and fuck some wood up. And uh, let me know how you get on in the comment section. Love it. Take it easy, guys. And probably one or two ladies. Thank you.